November marks the 22nd anniversary of South Africa's very first international tour post-isolation. Their trip to India would forever change the landscape of cricket in this country. You know what, when, when we arrived and you sort of thought now, well, what's this going to be like? How important is it going to be uh, for the Indians that we playing? Well, when we got off the plane and cleared uh, customs, the next thing is that we now get in this convoy and there must have been I don't know, 80 motorbikes, 100 motorbikes at the front. It was all private guys that were now in the motorbikes. So he's okay. Then we got in the various cars and buses and things. And when we left the airport, suddenly the streets were lined from one to thousands deep all the way to the hotel. You know, you speak to guys who, who were on the tour with us, spectators, and Ali was phoning him saying, do you want to go to India? It's get on the plane so it was unbelievable it was probably the first time and probably the only time that a tour went with all spectators all players on one plane so it was unbelievable from that point of view as well that Thursday night we hired a chartered flight we filled it up with the players the media and a few supporters and for the very first time an Indian a South African plane flew over India first time ever we got to Calcutta on the Friday morning and there was a reception, You've ne you can't believe what happened there. It is estimated that 100,000 people in Calcutta lined the streets of Calcutta to welcome for the very first time a South African sporting team in India. It was mind-boggling. You cannot believe the, the passion, the fervor, the excitement, the exhilaration that was felt not only by the South African uh, party, but also by the people of Calcutta. Well, on arrival at the airport, there were just millions of people um, lined down the, the road all the way to the hotel, so just cheering and applauding. It was, it was an unbelievable experience for us all. So, one th you know, those kind of things you never forget. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.